up y'all welcome back to my channel and today we are making pumpkin spice cupcakes so if you guys saw my last video where i reviewed the candles that my friend sent me and make sure y'all go watch the last video so y'all can get 20 percent off of your order off of the candles from the Lux recipe but she also sent me a pumpkin spice cupcake kit so today i am going to be making those cupcakes so as y'all can see everything that i need well most of the stuff that i need is right in this box so it's from lily bean and it has the pumpkin spice mix it has these sprinkles that was stupidly attached to the um pumpkin spice and the sprinkles got everywhere so i had to clean up all the sprinkles but we got the pumpkin spice um uh, what is that? The pumpkin spice. Basically, the mix. You got your frosting mix, which is this, and the knob for the frosting. And you also have the cupcake liners and the other stuff. So, right here, I'm going to be using almond milk, unsalted butter, organic coconut oil, my pumpkin spice mix, and my frosting mix, and of course a measuring cup. So first things first is to take your coconut oil or your unsalted butter. I decided to use both because your girl didn't have enough coconut oil. I thought I had more than that. So I used unsalted coconut oil and I also used, I said unsalted, I used coconut oil and I also used my unsalted butter. You needed four tablespoons I think. And then while that was melting, I lined my cupcake liners in my little rusty dusty cupcake pan. And it came with 12 liners, which means that you're gonna be able to make 12 cupcakes. So after all you get all your liners in there, I'm gonna move those to the side and take my pumpkin spice mix and put that in my mixing bowl first. Yep, just like that. Then I'm gonna take my melted butter slash oil. Remember, you're only using butter or oil, not both. Only both in my case, because I didn't have enough. Then you're gonna use three fourths a cup of almond milk or milk of your choice. I wanted the cupcakes to be vegan, so that's why I used almond milk. Pour that bad boy in there. And now it's time to mix. Mix, mix, mix. Whatever mixer you use, let it mix for about mm, about five minutes. Mine was still kind of thick, so I added just a little bit more milk in it um, and let it continue to mix. But you want to mix, 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 mm -hmm. until it's about this color slash consistency. And like I said, you're only making 12 cupcakes, so you're not going to have a lot of batter in this particular package. After that's all and done and nice and mixed, you know, clean off your little mixers, your little whatever those are called. And I just took a regular spoon. I thought I had an ice cream scooper. I really wanted to use an ice cream scooper, but I just took a regular spoon and scooped up my mix and placed it into each one of the cupcake liners. And I didn't do a lot. I did a little bit at first in each one and then I went back over it. Ooh, I messed up right there, y'all. Then after I filled each one up, I went back and added whatever I had left until I didn't have any more uh, cupcake batter left. I tried to make sure each one was as even as possible. Then you're gonna put your cupcakes in the oven on 325 for, the box says 17 to 20 minutes, but I did like 18. About, well, I did 15 at first, checked it at 15, and then about three more minutes because it wasn't ready. So while that's in the oven, I'm gonna start working on the frosting. You're gonna take 10 tablespoons of butter or oil, once again didn't have enough oil. I had like a little bit of coconut oil left, so I just used a little bit of that and the rest butter. Um, you don't want to melt it, you just want to cream. If you're using butter, you just want to cream the butter. And after that is creamed, you're gonna add in the frosting powder. Add that in, mix, mix, mix. 
and then you're gonna add milk as well to this I forgot how much milk but I didn't measure it I just kind of eyed the milk and yeah I, I found out later that that wasn't a good idea but we're gonna get there so after you add your oil slash butter add your frosting mix add your milk mix 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 I tried to get it as less clumpy as possible um not sure why it did that hmm I don't know not too sure but you guys are gonna see here I'm gonna keep mixing until and that's the other thing too I realized that I don't think it was going fast enough I had it on like one so I turned it up to like four and I watch a lot of baking shows y'all and I think on the baking shows they like whip their uh their their icing like a lot like they make sure it's good and whipped so after all of that after your cupcakes have cooled down they also give you a um piping bag along with the piping tip i put my icing in the fridge as well and let that cool down because it was really runny so put that in my icing bag then i got my pipe my, my little piping um Y'all know, the icing bag in my pipes. I know y'all see me over there being Betty Crocker. Do y'all see them designs? Like, come on, don't play with me. Don't play with your girl. So, at this point, you just really doing whatever and just having fun. Oh, look at me. I'm making a mess, y'all. I was getting icing everywhere. Look at my hands. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> y'all, so, the icing got really watery. And that's what I was saying earlier. I put way too much milk in the icing and it got really, really watery. But... Hey, they turned out really cute in my opinion. I like them. So, after that, like I said, they also give you sprinkles. So, take your sprinkles and you can never have enough sprinkles. Like, come on now. These vegan too. Like, we finna go crazy on these sprinkles. And that is the final product. So, now it's time to taste the one. Mmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. These cupcakes bomb. And they was moist. I was making a mess with the icing though. They was good. They was real good. Look at me. Look at me. Making a mess. I don't even like pumpkin, y'all. I don't even like pumpkin stuff, but baby, I did my thing with these cupcakes. I did my th th thing. Mm. Mm-mm. -mm. I wish y'all could try these, honestly. They were so good. So good. So good. So, so, so good. I got powder all over my face. Yeah, I had to finish that. Mm. Mm-hmm. So thank you guys for watching my pumpkin spice cupcake tutorial. This is the final product. This is how they turn out.